Ask Reddit by Mental Juggernaut 113. What's one ingredient that can ruin a perfectly good meal for you? Liquid smoke. It tastes like pollution. Had a cake from my church yesterday and I think someone used liquid smoke instead of vanilla extract in the cake. Too much salt. In the same vein, not enough salt. Rosemary. A little is okay, but Jesus I went to Cheesecake Factory and had meat loaf. It had so much rosemary in it, I couldn't eat it. When overdone, it tastes how the perfume samples from the Avon magazine smelled. Anise. Is this the one that tastes like licorice? Because if so, I second this so hard. Hair. What the hell do you eat if hair is an ingredient? Caraway seeds. Sometimes I get a raisin bagel that was too close to or under the everything bagels, and there are stray caraway seeds on it, and it is ruined. Fennel. Black. I was recently in hospital, and they asked what kind of tea I'd like with dinner. Not wanting to ask for all the options, I said anything but peppermint tea, thinking they'd get fruit tea or green or black tea or whatever. I got fennel tea. I agree with black. Olives. Someone posted, this, https colon slash slash, i, dot imger, dot com, slash uverate cob, dot jpeg closed bracket for me when I had this answer in an old thread. Truffle oil. It tastes like dirt. I said what I said. It's because you are supposed to put two drops in a whole meal and people treat it like it's olive oil, because they have no clue how to use it, and splash it all over and you get like two tablespoons and it's overpowering. Celery. I don't care how you cook it or chop it, that watery, stringy nastiness can stay out of my food. Agree. Celery is the devil. I'll never forget a tweet that mentioned celery as crunchy water with hair in it. There has never been a better description for me than that. Resentment. I bake with pure hate and people think I make the best bread they've ever had. Resentment is bitter, hate is delicious. Too much ginger. Bell pepper. I'm allergic and restaurants seem to put it in everything. I ask extensive questions about ingredients because of that. A really good server will go to the kitchen for specifics. A really good server gets really good tips. OMG another person with a bell pepper allergy. Fortunately, it is more of a sensitivity for me. But no one believes me when I say it. Raisins. The absolute worst. Why is this not the top comment? It even ruins ice cream. Horrible. Also, duck is my favorite meal ever. How many times I could not order duck because of raisins? Why too many? How can they do this to people? Also, prunes. Extra large raisins. Yuck. Tarragon. Where did Tara go? Fentanyl. It's to die for. Coriander cilantro. It just tastes like soap. Scrolled too far for this. I always check ingredients list for cilantro and immediately pass if found. It blows my mind some people don't taste soap when they eat it. Blue cheese. Many a good salad has been ruined by it. Blue cheese can ruin a whole cheese board. If there's a blue cheese on a board at a family gathering, I will even designate a blue cheese knife. My brother-in-law will use the same knife on all the cheeses so then they're all coated in blue cheese. It drives me crazy but I'm the only one who doesn't like blue cheese. Beets. When my young niece tasted them for the first time she yelled, Oh my god, this tastes like poison. Yes, they really do. Taste like dirt. Two. Zucchini and summer squash shamelessly hiding under the top layer of a lozinia, 
especially at a buffet. When you splurge on an outrageously expensive lobster roll thinking that's my single one for the summer and it's a 4 ounce roll that's half celery. You're not fooling anyone. Celery just give me a 2 ounce lobster roll where I can actually taste the lobster flavor, please. Watermelon ice cream or sherbet with chocolate chips so it looks like the seeds in a real slice of watermelon. Now I can't taste the watermelon flavor, just shitty toll house chips. Do we eat the seeds in a real watermelon? May I ask question mark? Fries in a gyro so clever. I hate the taste of lies. One lobster roll per summer? I choose death. Desiccated coconut. Often they just wildly strew it across the finished dish for no reason, ruining everything it touches, and the bits are so small it's a nightmare to catch them all. Cilantro coriander. Tastes like soap. Come in. One time my BF put too much in the rice and it's all you could taste. Too much come in the rice I hate when that happens. Cooked green red peppers, especially ones that are chopped up real small and are from frozen. Ugh. The ones on frozen pizzas are the worst, has those after school as a kid, the budget ones, and now traumatized by them. Cilantro. 